الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أي الله بتف الله As we mentioned countless times the importance of knowledge of علم The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said May yurid Allah bi khairin yafqahu fi din Whatever Allah wants good for a person gives him understanding of the religion The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Man salaka tariqan yaltalmisuhu bi ilmin sahala Allahu lahu tariqan ila jannah The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said Whoever traverses the path of knowledge Allah will make easy for him the path to Jannah. And the Salaf of this Ummah used to say, Talib al-Ilm, Talib al-Jannah. Uh, al that the person seeking knowledge, that seeking knowledge is seeking Jannah. All of this is because of sincerity. Sincerity to Allah. And I, and I advise myself and my brothers and sisters to strive your best to purify your attention at all times. Oh Allah, please accept our good and forgive our evil. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Listen to this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, which should strike fear in our hearts about having a lack of sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because if you're not sincere in your talib al-ilm, that can take you to the hellfire actually. SubhanAllah, you, someone wants to do good with this great deed of talib al-ilm and they actually end up thrown in their face in the hellfire. Wa'iyadhan billah, wa'iyadhan billah min dhalika. Listen to this hadith of the Prophet ﷺ on Abi Huraira, radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal Kama ruahu Inna al-awwala nas yukda alayhi yom al-qiyama Rajalun usnushida Fu'utiya bihi fa'arrafuhu ni'amuhu fa'arrafaha Fakala fama amaltu fiha Kala Qataltu fika Hatta usnushid Hatta usnushidtu Kala كذبت ولكنك فعلت لي قال هو شجاع أو هو جريء فقد قيل ثم أمر به فصحب على وجهه حتى كيف النار وعياذ بالله من ذلك. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said one of the first people on the day of judgment who will be judged is a man who will be brought forth who was martyred. And he will be asked, what did you do? He said, I, I fought for your sake. And Allah will say to him, you lied. But rather you did it so that the people would say that you're brave. And they said it. Then he was dragged on his face in the fire. So he got his reward in this dunya. The people said, they said him, they talked about him, they made videos about him, they did this. What a great shaheed. He died doing this. He went to this country, he did this. But he didn't do it for the sake of Allah. So may Allah bless us with a class with him at Ya Rabbil Alameen. وَرَجَلٌ تَعَلَّمَ الْعِلْمِ وَعَلَّمُهُ وَقَرَى الْقُرْآنِ فَأُوْتِيَ بِهِ فَعَرَفُهُ نِعَمُهُ فَعَرَفَهَا قَالَ فَمَا أُمَلْتُ فِيهَا قَالَ تعلمت العلم وعلمته وقرأت وقرأت فيك القرآن قال كذبت ولكنك فعلت لي قال هو قارئ وهو عالم أو عالم كما قيل فسحب على وجهي حتى ألقي في النار the second man was a man who was brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or who will be brought before Allah and it will be asked what did he do? You say I, I sought knowledge and I was an alim, I was a great alim and I read the Quran for you, for your sake and Allah will say to him you lied but rather you did it so the people would say you were an alim and so that you, they would say you were a great reciter and it was said about you. Meaning he, he achieved that dunya we thing. Maybe he got a good job. Maybe he, uh, <clears throat> the people praised him often. What a great sheikh. 
What a great alim. Sheikh, Fadila to Sheikh. You're this. You're this. He received that in the dunya. And then Allah will say, you lied and has it, have this man dragged by his face in the fire. Wa'iyadu billah bidhalika. Wa'rajul wasa'ala alayhi. وَأَطَاهُ مِنَ سْنَافِ الْمَالِ كُلِّهِ فُؤْتِيَ بِي فَعَرَفُهُ نِعَمُهُ فَعَرَفَهَا قَالَ فَمَا مَتَ فِيهَا قَالَ مَا تَرَبْتُ مِنْ سَبِيلَ أَنْ تُهِبُّ وَنْ يَنْفَقَ إِلَّا أَنْ فَقْتُ فِيهَا لَقْ قَالَ كِذَّابْتْ وَلَكِنَّكَ فَعَلْتَ لِيُقَالْ هُوَ جَوَادُ فَقَدْ كِيلْ the Prophet ﷺ said about the third man, he said, and a man who used to spend in all kinds of good, used to spend his wealth, very generous. He was brought before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah said, well, and what have you done? He said, I didn't leave off any way of spending for your cause. Spending, sp spending in khair. Ma taraktu min sabila and tuhibu. I haven't left off a, a, a way of spending my wealth, except that it's a way that you love. And Allah will say you lied, but rather you did it so that the people would say you were generous, and it was said. So then he was taken by his face and dragged into the hellfire. Wa'iyadu billah. Ahabati fillah, that shows us the importance of ikhlas lillah. That we have to be sincere. And sincerity is not just one time. You may start an action. Maybe you're giving da'wah. Maybe you're doing, you're spending something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But then the shaitan comes to you and says, hey, the people are looking. Make it look a little better. Try to, you know, put a little style and flavor in. Whatever the case may be, the shaitan makes it seem uh, uh, good and, and, and helps you, encourages you to change your niyyah, you, you begin to change your intention. That instead it's to show off, instead of being, bringing people closer to Allah. So that's going to happen. But don't stop doing khair because of the whisperings of the shaitan. La, give more dawah, spend more but just seek refuge in Allah from that evil and correct your intention. Okay, maybe a minute ago I was showing off. Khalas, let me, let me get that. Let me remove myself from that and come back to Allah. It's for you, all, Ya Allah. So always work on purifying your intention. And as the ulama, some of the salaf used to say, that that was one of the most, the most difficult things for them to battle and fight was their own nafs and, the, and the, their, their intention. To correct the intention is very difficult. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas, with the bad Allah sunnah and forgive us of our many, many, many sins and help us to come closer to Him and be better slaves, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and raise us up amongst the righteous and take us in a state of righteousness.